Okay, now I show you like all the basics of of, of the set uh, position node and and textures. Um, I just like start with a little plane and go to geometry nodes and I can use uh, the geometry re as right and set position node here just between. I can use this to change the position of the node uh, of the of the old geometry or just a selected part of the geometry or using a selected part of geometry we had like in the previous classes where you can use the compare node yeah, compare node here and um, we can use also the geometry position node this, this, these are the coordinates of the texture um, all the positions which are like let's say greater than let's do it with a vector all the textures which are like greater than zero uh, are will be moved to uh, let's say uh, one in this direction the problem here is like everything is uh, zero so it's it can because like z, z value is zero because everything is on the zero level by in z coordinate which is like the up coordinate so therefore you can just like make the z coordinate a little bit changing and um and then everything which is like um greater than it, sh it should uh, should move it no. Ah, yeah, this, this would be they, are, they should be not greater than zero, but like uh, here. It should I should go with it with a little bit to the zero. So you can see this is like everything which is like on the positive value, x and uh, x and uh, y values. This I I am just I could I can change the coordinate. This is just like this one point. Of course, I don't want this. I just want want it uh, a little bit more detailed geometry that I can play more. So therefore, I add here mesh um, operations and subdivide mesh, and like a couple of times. And now, like I can uh, use just like part of the everything which is like bigger than uh, in the positive values, like which is greater than zero, x zero and y zero are moving uh, up and down in the z coordination. So this is co uh, this is what one way to manipulate the geometry using the set position node. The other one is let's to keep this uh, and throw this away. Uh, just like using a, a texture, and for this we can use different textures. Um, let's start with the noise texture. And now everything is moving. All the all the textures are moving in one direction. Uh, depending on the noise. Noise is uh, something which is like going between a value, a random value, for each part of a texture, let's say, of a geometry, in this case, uh, which is going between 0 and 1. And therefore, everything is, 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 is moved. But if I will take it away, everything is like, this is the regular place. But it seems like, if I move it, everything moves in one direction because they are moving in uh, in a positive x and y directions between and z directions between zero and one. So in in, in, in uh, let's say in uh, in average they are mo moving zero point five. So therefore I can take something like a vector vector mat and minus zero point five so they can come back. So this is their the moment. Um, I can also just take one, just one value of them. Uh, because I use vector combine x y z. Then I can take this away. Combine x y z, and I will use the just to manipulate the x x value, uh, z value. So everything in the they are going a, between zero and one in one direction. Exactly. So, and then uh, I can use maybe a math function here, math. 
just like multiply with a uh, with a small value like with a, with a decimal value to smooth it down that the, it is like this elevation is not more so strong like is it will be like this but I'm just like multiplying it with a little number dividing it exactly like this multiplying by the point one is like dividing to ten and now it's like looks more flat um of course I can I don't need to use just this noise uh, but I can also take other other stuff such as um, such as texture um, wave yeah and um, this wave doesn't work because like it is it looks like a zero because uh, I need also an input for noise I don't need an input because it gives automatically a value between zero and one but if I use wave uh, there is no input value for the wave um, therefore it looks uh, right ah no this works as well but it was it is just too big I think yeah it's just too big sorry and it is also I need rings and a spherical one so sorry doesn't need to uh, empty just like was too too small so and these waves I need maybe some more details to see them yeah this is like a uh, dropping a stone into water and then it makes like this um, these circles circular waves around around it this is exactly the same get rid of it. Uh, so and a bit more smaller so this is like then we get into this point um, of course you can you can also add, add several uh, wave textures on top of each other or you can use um, you can use a vector mat or mix function also to, to mix two two different wave waves which are like one is smaller maybe one is one is bigger and you see like them see one big one small one big one small waves which are like going on top of each other um, this is like a mixing part uh, or I can use vector vector mat sort of mixing and and manipulating their positions add like um, mm, geometry read position and again spec and again an add function to to add the original position this will be the original position you see it does nothing change but I can if I eat something more then the, 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 the where the stone drops like you can see this this is the, the position of the stone which is dropping into water is moving and then I can mix Two, two waves creating this nice beautiful interference um, patterns and if you want to animate them uh, you can also use this or what can you use again to animate here distortion ah here the, uh, for the waves it is you can use the phase offset you can use this to animate either like by putting keyframes or just by using input scene scene time and you put the frame here and the frame here see that the step the phases is going maybe it's too fast then you can either put um, a mat uh, note which you which you can like arbitrary it is mat mat uh, just uh, like multiply it or you, you can use the radiance which is like a natural wave to uh, slow things down, slow this frame rate to a kind of degree. So it's maybe too, too, too slow. And but you can you can loop it at 360, or you can uh, use a multiply node to slow it down. Let's close this here, here, um, here. And now we need a little bit faster. So let's. 
and here also three. So like, or maybe the other one's a bit faster. Let's say nine. Or let's make one wave really fast. See, like one wave is actually going slow, and the other wave is like pretty fast. hard to notice but because one wave is carrying the other one on top of it but you can see here the this one wave read riding on each other yeah this is like how you can mix these two waves um there is another way to make like this water things which is like using this the musgrave function um which i can show a little bit later